starting with a dumbbell front squat. Place the weights at about shoulder level. Lead with your hips, bend from the knees, sinking into the ankles, lower your seat to the floor, or as low as you can. Watch your knees. Make sure your abdominals are really connected here and tight. Here's a front view for you, making sure you have your knees straight, that they're not fishtailing in or out. Keep those weights at the shoulders, nice and controlled. Exhale on the way up. Moving into a one-arm freestanding dumbbell row, place one leg behind, and that arm, you're going to pull the elbow up to the ceiling, draw the abdominals in, keep your chest square, watch you do not round your back, that's super important. Keep your spine really, really straight. Eyes are forward, slight bend to the knees. Make sure you're not using your neck here, you really want to make sure you're using your mid-back to pull that weight up. Draw the abdominals in. Here's your other side. Abs are connected. Keep everything really, you really want to think about your form with every single exercise here. Abs connected, always. That's an example of bad back. See how round that is? Don't do that. And don't do that either. <laughs> Reverse lunges, standing hip width apart, step back quite a bit ways back and place the knee down toward the floor. Land on your back toes. Keep your upper body upright. Notice how the front knee does not travel over your toes. Keep that spine super tall. It's a big step back landing on the toes. Do not land on your heel. The next exercise from that is going to be chin-ups, which you guys know. The next set, bench step-ups. Standing in front of a bench, the higher the bench, the harder this exercise. Dumbbells in hand. Place your heel on the bench, step up, bring your knee up, pause, slowly step back down, down. Really key, your heel has to be placed. This is an exercise that requires a lot of balance, so you've got to keep everything connected, take your time with it. Dumbbells to your side. Dumbbell plank row. Find a push-up position. Hands on the weights. Draw the abdominals in and pull your elbow to the ceiling. Do as little shifting as possible through your hips. Here's the modified version with your knees down. And you can just play with this a little bit, knees down, knees up, knees down, knees up until you're strong enough to stay in your high plank the whole time without shifting those hips around. Stability ball roll out. On your knees, from your knees to your head, you're a two by four or a plank. Hands are down on the ball. Draw the abdominals in. Lean forward and roll the ball away from you. This is a really good abdominal exercise if you do it correctly. Make sure you keep your spine super long. From your knees to your head, you move as one unit. The farther you roll out, the harder. Keep your back straight. Here's a bad example, bum out, don't do that. Another bad example is sinking into your low back. Moving into stability ball, stir the pot. So you have to roll into a high plank, er, mm, knee tuck, stability ball knee tuck. So into a high plank position, bring the knees down to the mat, and then back into your high plank position. You guys know this one as well. We've been doing that for the last couple weeks. You can also use a pike now. So draw the abdominals in and pull your hips up to the ceiling. So whichever one you want to try, great exercise for those abs. It should be getting stronger.